morning folks uh it is early in the morning on friday the 13th i'm out at ashby and san pedro uh, in the distance here you can see a couple of sapd officers they're posted up in this parking lot uh, unlike uh but a lot of people think sometimes these officers are tasked to be here today uh the fusion center put out warnings to the city as a matter of fact they made it public to the city warning them that there may be terrorist activity uh, at Jewish places of worship and to be on the lookout, etc. So they're just doing their due diligence, I suppose, by being out here. Um, at the same time, um, while we appreciate the police being proactive and doing what they do, um, yeah, you have to wonder about that. Uh, when I pulled up, and I pulled up on the side of the road and parked on the road, that is private property. I'm not going onto their property um, because while I don't see any no trespassing signs, um, I certainly am not going to put myself in a position to be uh, additionally harassed by the police for doing what I do. So you'll see here, this officer is, these officers are now pulling out of here They're doing their thing. They'll circle right back around. Now here's the kicker, folks. Now, police are out here because they believe it may be possible terrorist activity. And uh, officers all the time say, oh, you're suspicious because you're filming because terrorists, you know, they film their targets, etc. Well, if their specific task is out here to prevent possible terrorist activities, why wouldn't they come over and confront me about being out here in the middle of the night filming? We all know why. Because they know that they have a history of violating people's rights of people who film in public. They know damn well who I am. I'm not hiding it from them. Um, but the fact is, that's what they are. So, uh, we'll do our thing. We'll be out of here in a few minutes. Um, like I said, I'm going to pause my video. Uh, guarantee you they'll be back out here. Uh, you know, they may be tasked to, to patrol this area. And again, nothing against what the officers are doing, but that's the irony in it. They're tasked to dissuade other people or whatever. Uh, they're here to make the Jewish community feel safer, and that it is important that the community does feel safe. However, again, uh, wouldn't you want the officers to come over and ask me what I'm doing? And in this case, I would tell them I'm doing a story about the police responding to perceived threats on our community. And it would be a nice fluff piece for the police, but they're not allowed to talk. They're not allowed to discuss anything. So, you know, of course, they're going to be all hush-hush on it. Either way, uh, this is Blue Lives Matter. I'm going to pause. Okay, folks, once again, it's Blue Lives Matter uh, out at Ashby in San Pedro. Uh, just doing my story of interest tonight, which was SAPD's uh, activity regarding the public safety warning they put out to the public about possible terrorist activities at Jewish centers. Uh, you had two officers in this parking lot, and I pulled up. As soon as I parked, they came over, looked at my vehicle. No doubt they ran the plates. And they were told, hey, that we know that guy. He's, he films the cops, leave him alone. Uh, but either way, it shows that they are taking it serious, which is important. Uh, I'm going to have to say that I'm assuming they ran my plates and they're like, oh, we know who that guy is, and that's why they took off. But here's the kicker. If they didn't, and they're always saying whenever people film, oh, well, terrorists film buildings, you know, as precursors, why wouldn't they think the same thing if they suspect there's possible terrorist activity? going on uh, or 
possible call to arms, etc. Okay. Um, either way, there's there's no right or wrong here. I'm happy with the response. I don't have a problem with it. They saw I was filming them. They took off. They will be back. Hopefully, they'll continue to patrol the area. They'll come back, and uh, you know, I mean, it's just what just what they do. Uh, again, nothing against the officers. They're doing their job. They're keeping the community safe. But, again, it leads up to those same questions. At what point is it the correct thing for officers to be doing versus if they're impeding on other people's rights? You know, um, you know, if I pulled up here and they didn't see what I was doing when I immediately pulled up. So, you know, of course, they come over to check it out. But once they realize, oh, this guy's filming, uh, they left me alone. And so you want to say that's a, a 1A pass for SAP 100%. If they filmed or if they knew who I was, you know, okay, well, the, maybe their motives weren't so pure. Maybe they're like, oh, hell no. That's the guy who makes us look like idiots. We're out of here. Uh, if they didn't know who I was, though, is that the actions that you would expect from officers? Or would you expect them to try to get, engage in a consensual conversation and determine what my motives were, etc.? Now, whether I engage in that or not is up to me. And whether they force it or go beyond that would be up to them. But they didn't go there. But the question to you is, if the police tell you they have, you know, what they feel are credible terrorist, you know, threats, and then you go out and film in that area, why wouldn't they come over and discuss things? Again, for me, I don't believe threats are credible. They're possible. They certainly are. Anytime you get any religious zealots putting out a call to arms, you will have people that are religious zealots, regardless of the religion, doing stupid things. And so, again, this is nothing against any religion. It's just a fact. Stupid people do stupid things out of hate. Uh, again, SAPD gets a pass. Uh, they did not interfere with me coming over here. And we're 100% good with that at this point. We'll continue uh, doing what doing what we do. And uh, again, uh, if either one of the officers who are in this parking lot see this, I hope the reason you did not choose to engage in a consensual conversation is that you knew who I was and you knew I was not a threat. If you didn't know who I was and you didn't know for sure I wasn't a threat, then I want to say, one, okay, he's just taking pictures. Nothing wrong with that. Good. The police are starting to figure out photography is not a crime. And that people who do surveillance of targets are doing it in a discreet manner, not in an obvious manner like I am. So, either way, good job, SAPD. 